What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So today's video is going to be very very different than anything I've ever done before. That's predominantly due to the fact that I've actually never done uh, a story time type of video where I kind of just share with you kind of the experience and do my best to illustrate uh, through words what everything kind of uh, was. I'm generally bringing you guys with me and um, I kind of just show you guys exactly what it was like, but unfortunately, um, I was unable to. I do have some footage from this weekend, and feel free to stick around for the rest of today's video because I'm going to have like some snippets of kind of what uh, the whole weekend looked like. But uh, for this segment, for this portion of today's video, I'm essentially going to be talking about the Fear of God garage sale, uh, talking to Jerry Lorenzo, what that was like, the things that they had there, and the things that I picked up um, at the garage sale in LA. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. This first segment is going to require a little bit of imagination. Fortunately enough, it wasn't too, too complex, so uh, you don't have, you're not going to have to think too, too hard because it was essentially exactly what Jerry had kind of let us know and let on on Twitter. It was a garage sale. It was nothing short of just that. From my understanding and reported by of other community members in the Facebook group, uh, there was quite a few people that stayed overnight, which is crazy to me. I actually had some friends that were in line prior to the doors actually opening and they said that there was 40 people in line um, right when the doors opened. So upon approaching the line, I get in line or whatever and I see Jerry there, he's on the phone and you know, I, I have no idea who he's talking to at this point, I just kind of see him. Like I said, the line was approximately about 15 to 20 minutes and we get into the place. So I'm gonna do my very best to kind of illustrate and kind of let you know what the actual like inside of it was. So just imagine a rectangular open space room, I'd say approximately maybe like 1500 square feet and um, it was essentially just open concept very open it felt like a garage concrete ground um, is it like it had a uh, open ceiling you could see like uh, the, the like the exposed like, like air conditioning tunnels and things of that nature so it was very like almost industrial now as it pertains to what they actually sold and the prices I'm gonna do my very very best uh, to just recollect everything so uh, you go into the place and then you see this first rack to your right side and there you have indigo denim white denim and I believe it was the plaid trousers day one the white denim was 400 uh, the indigo denim was 600 and then the plaid up uh, uh, trousers were I believe they were 400 day two Jerry decided to slash the prices indigo denim was $400 white denim was 200 and the plaid trousers were also 200 moving down the right side where all like the racks were uh, there was a ton of fourth collection garments um this was there um and a bunch of different colors uh things from purpose to her just like a lot of the distressed a uh, sleeveless flannels uh they were there uh there was a, a ton of bombers there's a lot of bombers um I believe uh, day one these were priced at $300 and day two these were uh, cut down to I believe it was 150 if my memory serves me correctly the bombers that they actually had there um, I believe it was the olive the gold and the burgundy or the Merlot uh, whatever you want to call it and they were priced at 500 day one and then slashed down to I think it was 300 on day two which is is really good considering the fact that you know I have all inner silk lining and you know it's fourth collection it's made for like the main line and that's the same price as the diffusion line at PacSun for a bomber so it's 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 pretty good in my opinion I mean three hundred dollars is never a little amount for a bomber but I mean you know relative to it's not too bad lastly on the rack they had the denim jackets and the prices on those were still a little bit high in my opinion I want to say uh, they stayed at six hundred dollars throughout the duration uh, if you guys were there comment down below I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure because I didn't actually like pay that any mind because I didn't really need a denim jacket so I, I do I do remember seeing like it was pretty expensive for, for kind of what it was so I do believe it was the fourth collection denim jacket priced at uh, six hundred throughout the duration of the weekend the last two racks were actually either one of ones or fifth collection slash fifth collection samples. So that was like the long sleeves, the pants, the jackets, the hoodies, the baseball jersey, the mesh tanks, just things like that. 
and I, I can't remember all the prices off the top. Um, I do know that the mesh stuff was priced at around uh, 250 to $300 on day one. I actually purchased the mesh baseball jersey, uh, the sample one, at $100, so it was slashed pretty good um, towards the end of the entire weekend at the garage sale. It was actually just the last few hours. The one of one pieces I believe were $500 and they're actually super, super nice. Like these are all like, I believe that these are gonna be items that are never gonna be made, never gonna be uh, put into production. So the people that got that stuff, um, they're gonna have like a very, very special piece in their wardrobe. Lastly, on the right side, uh, which kind of was like the corner of the entire space or the garage sale, um, they did have like a section of all shoes. All the shoes were out there, um, all the sizes. They had a plethora of di different sizes in the black uh, basketball sneaker which is really cool because they're actually not released just yet um, except if you purchased uh, from the Italy um, online store I think it's uh, Bottega backdoor or something like that um, they actually had that stuff there and they only had the black color um, I personally wish they had the white one I would honestly considered buying them uh, because they were priced at a thousand and that is not a little bit of money by any stretch and that's a ton of money to me personally uh, but the fact of the matter is um, if I am gonna plan to buy them in the future uh, they are gonna probably price if I'm not mistaken at $12.95 plus tax uh, which would be like ultimately like ring you up to like you know $1,500 out the door uh, and you know buying it at the garage sale would constitute a 33% discount so um, I actually thought about purchasing them but I didn't pull the trigger because I want the white ones I already have the military sneakers in black and so I just don't want that redundancy in my closet but yeah they're priced at a thousand dollars the left side really wasn't as good in my opinion uh, the prices were very high uh, the fifth collection stuff uh, that's where it kind of continued there uh, I saw like the that like a quarter zip that it's like silk it's really really nice a celtics one that had a bunch of celtics uh stuff and the prices were really high i believe that qu like quarter zip jacket thing like the, the pullover thing i'm sorry it's one a jacket um it was priced at like 1200 bucks or 1500 bucks which is like a lot of money in my opinion i would never spend that much um on just like one one piece and that's just because of like my financial state it's not like if you if you bought it it's like you know good for you that's awesome that being said on the left side there's also like um more white denim and white denim jackets. They also had the hats on the left side. Those were priced at $200. They never uh, discounted them. Honestly, if they got priced at um, 100, I honestly probably would have picked one up. They're just way too sick. Um, and it's fifth, you know, it's fifth collection. I'm like, you know, call me a hype beast or whatever. At the end of the day, there's new era caps. I totally get that. But if they're priced at 100, I would have definitely considered picking one up. 200 can't justify it. And then lastly, there was one rack where it was just kind of really lame stuff from fourth collection. And it was like a like a white button up shirt without a collar and stuff like that. I just like wasn't a fan. That stuff was priced at like 50 bucks. And that's not no knock on like Jerry or anything. It's just not like, you know, particularly my style. I wouldn't like purchase that. Um, if I was gonna get something like that, I'd probably just buy it from like H&M and kind of call it a day. But I mean, 50 bucks, you can't really go wrong. But I just didn't need a white, like plain white shirt. So that's why I didn't pick that up. Lastly, in the left, corner of the space uh, there was like a bunch of fear god military sneakers from fourth collection honestly guys there were such beautiful colors colors that i had never seen before um one color was really funky and, and, and in in my opinion was pretty ugly is yellow with like a white midsole other than that they had a ton of really sick colors they had like um the the tan ones and they had the cream midsole and then they had like like a taupe one it's like a darker version of the tan with like brown uh, details and then i think the midsole was off-white uh, it was really really nice they actually didn't have any of the og colorways which was kind of a bummer to a lot of people i was i heard a lot of people talking about that and like they wish they had like the black ones or like the black with like the gum sole which in my opinion is the best color those were priced at 700 dollars, i believe and then during the last like waning hours of the weekend uh, they priced them at 500 bucks um, I honestly consider buying another pair but at the end of the day I just couldn't justify it I feel like I have enough stuff and you know I got a I got a house to save up for and all this stuff so I got to like take into account like priorities and things of that nature so uh, that essentially was the setup of the garage sale just like 
like a big open space in the middle was completely like hollow and then on the sides it was just like a bunch of different stuff and then there was like a register like in the corner like the front corner uh, of the room so uh, that was essentially kind of the setup they actually sold totes like just plain canvas totes at the at the checkout counter for like 20 bucks and it was just said like fear of god never going to turn down god and that was pretty much it this next segment i'm going to kind of show you guys what i ended up purchasing at the garage sale i picked up three items actually four items if you count uh i bought aldo one of those tote bags just because uh, he drove me up there and just a way to just kind of show my appreciate him or whatever so i picked up one of those tote bags but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you the three items that i have here with me today and give you like a brief overview and description of what it is if you follow me on instagram you probably have already seen this piece but it is the mesh jersey if you guys follow me on Instagram, this first piece, uh, you've probably already seen because I posted a picture, like a fit. And I'll just go ahead and put it right here and kind of refresh our memory. But uh, this is the mesh jersey, the baseball jersey. And it's honestly not that special. It's like a thick mesh material. And that's probably the best thing I can say about it. Here you have just some screen printing. Um, definitely like not like a crazy quality type of piece. I love the way it fits. Um, what I will say about these mesh uh, jerseys is that they run huge um, I actually wear an extra small which I usually wear actually like a like a medium uh, generally and like fog stuff just kind of give you like a point of reference but yeah I, I wear an extra small in this I'm actually a big fan of this thing I mean it's really simple like I know you probably think yourself it's just like a mesh baseball jersey but I mean I think it's pretty cool it's really simple it's easy to wear it's black and white so you can't really go wrong I can really pretty much wear or put together like a pretty simple outfit but still kind of like like flex a little bit um, I hate that word but um, yeah you can kind of just put together a good outfit with something like this so uh, definitely I'm glad to have it in my wardrobe uh, it was priced at hundred dollars so uh, given the fact that it was fifth collection uh, that's not a bad price point because when they do release they're gonna be priced at 550 there's a very good chance that this next piece will either frustrate you or like make you grill me or flame me or whatever um, because it's essentially a Gildan tee. It was priced at $50 uh, throughout the duration. They sold out within the first two hours. These resellers, man, they're really just making a nice profit margin between like that $50 and it being priced on eBay. The lowest I've seen is 200 bucks. So that's pretty crazy to me. To make matters worse, I did pay over retail, but it was very, very incrementally small over retail for this. And it was just due to the fact that for me, I have purchased like St. Pablo merch tour and like, uh, Justin Bieber uh, merch tour like at the concerts and stuff and I've spent 60 70 80 bucks on this stuff So um, I felt like it was okay because it's my favorite brand and I probably am never gonna able to purchase it at that price point And it was a mainline piece so um, and, and it's a great piece that I can just kind of wear all the time It's super easy to wear. It's gray and white and green uh, But I really like this thing man. Um, I love just like the irony of it like it's like that classic I love uh, oh, it's actually supposed to say I hate LA uh, from like the Celtics Lakers rivalry, but it's just the irony is that it says I love LA. It says Fear God's got the clover there, uh, reminiscent of you know the 80s when that was like basketball at its peak. You didn't have you know like the Warriors sweeping or almost sweeping the Cavs or whatever. It was like really competitive ball at that time, but it's another talk for another day. But yeah, it says here I love LA here on the sleeves on both sleeves. Um, this thing's pretty big. There's only one size and I believe it's just the Gildan like ultra cotton shirt in a size extra large So uh, it's pretty big, but I do know that after one wash it probably fit me uh, just right just like this one. So Yeah, I really like this shirt. I mean, it's just Gildan. I totally know that so please don't flame me Don't remind me because I already know but I mean I just like it so I that's why I bought it this last piece guys is an absolute grail even more so than the fear god military sneakers it's just been so hard so expensive to purchase this but this is the manifestation this is the epitome this is the culmination of patience paying off when it's all said and done i mean i guess i could have theoretically had it pay off even more if i was even more patient but um i'm really happy to own uh, this last one that i'm going to be showing you guys and it's the fear god indigo denim uh, for a while guys these were going for three thousand dollars which is insane those are like the og ones and that was like early 2006 i believe 
and these were just so hard to get. Um, I just want to give a special shout out to Blake Powell's and Travis Van Dyke, um, two people or two interns um, or two employees of Fear of God. Uh, they were so cool and they're like, Paul, like I'm gonna help you pick like an OG, like distress one. I'm gonna help you pick the best one. And they really did do that. They helped me with sizing and I uh, just shout out to you guys, man. Every time I run into them, they're so kind and friendly and they're just great people. So thank you guys. Um, if you guys watch this video. Over here uh, is the denim. You got the nice big like blowout here. Um, this like I've been wearing these. I've worn these like probably three times thus far, and they just get better with everywhere. Um, I mean, it's fear denim, man, and it. I would say like it. I know that some people say that it, they don't live up to the hype, but if you're like you know into denim and you've had like a bunch of different types of denim, had them fit like all different types of ways, um, had like the ounceage and just, you know, just everything that comes along with it and like you just love those nuances like of how it's made, that salvage denim and stuff like that. Um, you come to respect it and I'm just really, really excited to own these. Like I know I'm kind of like, like smitten on them or whatever so like please forgive me on that I just had wanted these for so long and I ended up purchasing them uh, for significantly below market I bought them for 600 bucks which is a ton of money like for me for sure uh, but I, this was just one thing that I knew I had to buy uh, given the fact that it was on sale lo and behold the next day uh, they actually got marked down to $400 so I mean I guess my patience could have paid off a little bit more but I mean I, I still don't mind I, I got a pair that had all the right distressings and like it had the perfect wash and stuff like that so these very much like out of all this all of the 33s that they had there um, these very much so resemble the OG so I'm very very happy about that comment down below if you guys do want to see a full review like a dedicated review where I kind of get into the nuances of like what kind of justifies I guess I can't really fully justify like the price point but I can kind of talk about how like there is a little bit more value versus other denim uh, so let me know if in the comment section down below if you do want a full review of these like on body and stuff like that I'm totally down to do that I'm gonna do it with this pair as well as the black pair all in one video so let me know in the comment section if you guys would want that or be interested in that I know that's a video that's kind of a long time coming because fear God denim has been out for so long and I don't know the there might not be as much interest for that, so let me know in the comment section. Lastly, on the topic of denim, if we can get this video to 700 likes, then I will do a one-to-one -one comparison where I'm comparing the Fear of God denim to Minimal's denim. So if we can get this video to 700 likes, I'll definitely make that happen. And if we get this video to 800 likes, I will put Mint Cruise denim in it as well. So let's, let's make it happen. I'd love to do that, and that's a challenge for you guys to hit. And yeah, good luck. So for this last leg of this segment of the video, I did want to let you guys know about like, you know, talking to Jerry and just having that like one-on-one -on -one time where we got to kind of chop it up and kind of talk about different things. Um, and just kind of share with you guys like a little bit, just a little like window as to like what it was like. Uh, so first and foremost, this was the third time that I'd uh, run into Jerry. Um, every single time prior to has been nothing short of a humbling experience. Every time he's very, very lax, very chill. Um, he's, he's just a really nice guy a very humble guy and every single time we've like it's kind of been like kind of the same topic it's really funny but um, he did remember me from the Justin Bieber uh, purpose tour um, when I saw him there which was super cool um, he did say that like he did remember like the fact that I did encourage him um, and that's one thing like I do love to do with like my brothers in Christ and it's just something personal um, is that um, I do like to encourage them especially when there's um, like a, clearly an anointing over like whether it's a respective business or talent or whatever um, I do want to like bless them and let them know and give them a word of encouragement so uh, he did remember that I'm just recording everything one thing that was actually really cool is that he said that he actually knows the channel. Um, he's seen a few videos and he actually recited one of the videos. He said, like, I remember you and that guy and he actually uh, thought, I, I think he thought that Aldo was Neems uh, because it was Neems in the video with me that did the fifth collection kind of preview video and kind of going over all the pieces and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that video or not, but uh, he, he like he like recited it and he's like, yeah, there was a part when you like, when you were wondering if uh, the couch was actually at my uh, grandmother's house in Sacramento or it was like 
like a stage or like a set. It actually did say that. And he kind of told me like just the nuances of making the campaign and how um, he actually did shoot that segment at his uh, grandmother's house. And then he took that a bunch of those different pieces like the furniture and stuff and took a truck and he actually did it himself along with some buddies and uh, brought it here to LA and made a set. And it was just kind of like really cool to kind of see that perspective and kind of delve into like, you know, the creative mind of, of Jerry when he's putting together a campaign. Of course, knowing me, I did have to ask him about the new vans that are coming out. Uh, there's definitely more silhouettes coming out, uh, but also uh, these are not the only colors that are coming out in the respective silhouettes. So um, expect that to come out. And that's kind of all I can really say about that. We did also talk about God and like the anointing um, over the brand and stuff like that. And it's just really cool to kind of like chop it up with like a fellow believer and one that you know, um, you really like admire. So that was really cool, it was a really special time. I uh, kind of talk about like that stuff with Jerry and it was so funny because like, like amidst a conversation, I like, I felt like I was like keeping him longer, but he was so intentional about like, you know, staying, talking, Talking and being present um, so Jerry thank you so much if you actually watch this um, it was really cool it was just a really really cool um, like experience and I also got to talk to Jeff which was really nice at the very end um, as most of you guys have probably already seen I did get to take a picture with those guys and I was great it's so funny like upon going outside of the Jeff and Jerry um, he had a skewer in his head it had like some sauce on it or something like that and it had dropped and like dripped on his shoe and he was it was so funny because he was so like like frustrated about just like anybody else would be and um, he's just like darn like and he like wiped it off or whatever so I honestly think that's why he ended up wearing another pair of Vans a uh, two game five it was at, uh, at Golden State um, is because I think it's because like the shoe got a little bit dirty it's very very minute but it was enough to kind of like notice it and you know like for people like me or like Aldo or whatever like that'll just like totally this annoy us and then there was this really funny moment where there's like a light bulb moment and Jerry's like wait a second I just get another pair I think I have a plug for these shoes and it we just laughed it off or whatever so it was, it was cool after the picture we kind of just made our way out of there um, and he actually DM me after like everything was said and done um, I'm not gonna get into the nuances of what we talked about because we talked about different things uh, but he just pretty much said thank you so much for the support so it was really cool so that's gonna pretty much do it for this segment this like little section of story time and then I'm gonna like segue over to like like some of the footage that I got uh, from this weekend um, it's not gonna be like super all-inclusive but um, it's, it's cool I mean I feel like if you want to like end the video here feel free to or if you want to watch like the entirety of the vlog feel free to do that as well but i will go ahead and do the outro right now so guys um i did want to say thank you thank you thank you so much um as always it's such a privilege to get to do youtube and make these videos for you guys um it's truly so humbling the fact that you guys keep coming back um and i truly do my best i know i don't like put out as much content as many of you guys would like but i really do my best and i just i hope you guys see that and at the end of the day it's like such a privilege to do this I can't emphasize that enough guys and yeah if you did like the video please leave a thumbs up it goes such a long way for us youtubers all things considered uh, check out the description of this video um, I have a PO box my Instagram my social media the Facebook group link is there so uh, feel free to check it out it's all there and yeah if you guys decide to go from here um, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed but if you guys stick around and watch the vlog I'm gonna say enjoy the vlog What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So we're running really late as you guys probably already know today we are headed to the Fear of God garage sale. Um, it's up in LA and it's currently 1030 and the place already open. Today has been an absolute mess like I mean for me personally I woke up late I didn't set an alarm. I just it was just a mess and I naturally wake up like my circadian rhythm like has me yet generally waking up around seven o'clock but last night if you guys were in that live stream I stayed up until like 12 30 I don't know why but I had just recorded a video I was like oh I'll just go live for a little ended up being a lot longer than I had anticipated and so I'm paying the burdens and now it's 10 30 the store has already been open for half an hour I'm assuming that if there was indigo denim, it's probably gone by now, which is crazy because like supposedly the line right now, I, I talked to my buddies, J Rob, shout out to you. Um, he told me that the line didn't look too bad from what it looked like in his live stream video. Uh, he said that there was like, or it looked like there was like 40 people there. It's pretty crazy because like people had slept there all night and for it to be only 40 people, 
um, I think that's pretty good. I think, you know, that's not too, too bad. I think people need to come to the realization that fear of God resell, like reselling fear of God, especially it being mainline, like it's, it, I don't think it's a thing. Like there isn't a huge market. People like you're going to mark up like something that's a thousand dollars by what really how much, like how much of a profit margin can you make? Like $200, $300, you're going to let, you know, your thousand dollars sit just to make 300. I mean, I guess that's a nice like payout, but there's just so many other things that you could resell that pays dividends like a bit better. So, I mean, that's just my two cents. I think that mainline, like main, reselling mainline is just kind of dumb. I understand reselling fog because, you know, like the price points are, I wouldn't say relatively low, but they are like, you know, for the average consumer, which in turn makes it buyable for the people who are willing to spend the premium dollar anyways rant over i mean i'm in my car right now because i'm i'm early again like I'm, i guess i'm not early but i mean despite the fact me sleeping and being late i forgot my sd card so i had to double back and get my stuff although it's still late like i don't know how this turns out but i need to get on filipino time because it seems like everybody around me is on filipino time except for the filipino Well, glad for you to finally uh, show up. Hey, you forgot your SD card. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided I need to go to Starbucks because I'm just way too hungry and I need coffee in a profound and bad way. So we stopped real fast. So we just got some bad news, guys. Um, Jerry's not allowing photos or cameras into the, um, the sale, the garage sale. So um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take you get, like this camera with us inside. I assume that Jerry's trying to make it so that um, we don't know inventory numbers or like we don't like we don't see how many items there are. There is indigo denim, so that's what I just heard from my buddy, and there is a lot. So we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. Aldo kind of got my ear in my head a little bit because he thinks that Jerry might give me a hard time while we're here. Let's hope not. I've worked with minimal, but. So hopefully it's not enough to where like he like despises me or something. Um, that being said, I mean, I've done a ton of Fear of God related stuff. I feel like this channel has been founded on the fog drops and stuff. So hopefully, hopefully Jerry's cool. Like every time I met him, he's been really nice to me. So let's just hope it stays that way. What's up guys, so we just got back into the car. We're heading home right now because Gabriella has uh, a dance recital that she's uh, the director of. So I'm gonna go watch her do that. But I did wanna let you guys know that I was unable to vlog in the actual place. Um, I just felt weird, um, not to mention that there's like no camera signs. Actually, if you even took out your phone, you'd get like yelled at. Did you see that dude get yelled at? I, he, 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 yeah. He, yeah, he just took out his phone and he got oh, like, got a call yeah, yeah, he got like rep reprimanded or whatever. So I just wasn't like trying to risk it because I did want to be able to purchase my indigos. I finally got the indigos, guys. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna do a story time of what the whole experience was like, um, what uh, items that they had, some of the prices that uh, that they had, which were really, really good, shockingly enough. Um, what talking to Jeff was like, talking to you know, like some of the interns, and then I'll talk to you guys about. Um, I'll kind of tell you like the nuances of what Jerry and I talked about because it was a really deep and intricate conversation. So I will be letting you guys know about kind of what that was like and, and talking to Jerry and all that good stuff. All right guys, so we are now having lunch. Got myself a barbecue chicken pizza here. It's gonna be very, very good. It's been a great day thus far. Um, as you saw out of here, there wasn't anything too crazy so I didn't vlog for too, too long. I think we're gonna try out H&M and some other stores around here after we eat. All right, so now we're heading to H&M, just got done with lunch. I want to let you guys know that Jerry Lorenzo just DM'd me. I'll tell you more about it um, in the sit down. The next day. What's, What's up? up, fam? What's up, fam? What's oh. up, fam? <laughs> okay, so it's day two of this respective vlog. So, just long story short, guys, yesterday I cut the vlog, like, just kind of at an end because my battery died. 
Oh my Today, gosh. I had every intention of um, recording like a story time video, but I'm gonna have to put that on pause because I'm heading uh, back up to LA. Gabby, myself, Kenzie, and Aldo are going to LA to watch uh, the world of dance. Um, Gab, if you guys don't know, Gabby is like a really gifted dance director and she's a dancer as well. So we're gonna be taking you guys up to LA with us. On the way there, actually the Fear God garage sale marked down like almost everything, like 50, an additional 50% off, which is insane to me. So we're gonna go up there, see what's going on, uh, make that quick pit stop, and then just kind of put around LA, I suppose, until the show starts. Really, really excited for today. Um, I'm really happy that Gabby's gonna be in this vlog. It's always fun to have her in the vlogs. And yeah, you got anything to say to, to the subs? To our uh, family? Um. <laughs> to the fam? Peace and be blessed. Dude, that's for the ending. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go get some coffee. We're not thinking straight. Let's go inside and get some coffee and uh, meet up with Aldo. It's a very exciting day for me. I'm wearing my new Indigos. I'm so, so hyped to own these guys. And not just that, they have a nitro brew here. This Starbucks is bless. Oh, he's so Gabby cute. made a new friend. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I like this dog so much. Hi, Ruger. Hi. Wow. Oh, you're I once was lost, but now I'm found. <laughs> so we just got here to Hill Street for the garage sale hopefully Jerry's still here and we can say what's up and all that good stuff but here it is it's just here on this corner here and we're gonna see what we can get I hear a lot of different things got marked down and hopefully I pick up some cool stuff and let you guys know prices and stuff like that it's a cookout we got our goods it's great we're going to world of dance tonight you guys um, we're so excited Kenzie and I because we're both dancers professional dancers you know, jazz, ballet, tap, hip hop, um, occasional clogging. No, I'm kidding, I didn't clog. But I have done flamenco, which was, was a lot of fun. And I've done African, which was one of my favorite as well. Um, but yeah, tonight we're gonna see a whole bunch of different styles. We're gonna see contemporary, we're gonna see hip hop. There's a crew that I'm really excited and looking forward to. It's called The Lab. Some of you guys have probably seen them perform. They're kids, but they, they go hard, so, um, yeah, I'm excited. This place is you gotta, you guys, you guys have to come here. Just, just the dumplings, amazing. Handmade. I love this one. Here. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. That was so good. Is it? Is this the whole chamber or is it uh, separated? Wait, what? Why? What did you do? What did you do? He ran away, remember? He said he went to the bathroom. Thanks, babe. Love you guys. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Of course. That was a good meal, too. I'm so, I don't even know why he did that. Like, I think he looked at I'm like so, like, my mom right now. You didn't even take your wallet. It was right there the whole time. <laughs> no, it's my pocket. We just got here to Universal City Walk. Um, we're going to the World of Dance to watch the dancers from the show. A bunch of Gabby's favorite dancers are going to be there, so that's kind of what we're doing today. Super excited. Um, I think that's actually that loud crowd that you might have heard. I think that's what that was. So let's go ahead and check it out, see what's going on, and uh, watch some good dancing. So I don't know how this worked out, but Gabby, why don't you show them what you uh, finessed for us. We got two wristbands. We got wristbands, and they let us in through the gate, and now we're like right in front of us. It's so funny, Gabby and I are like the, like the total like team because like I wonder if the guy was like, dude, is there any way to get in there? My girlfriend's from Orange County and I are from Orange County and she's a dancer and we came all the way here and he's like, just wait here. And then I called Gabby over and she just like sweet talked her way and now we have passes uh, back here. So it's for family and friends only. So this is really sick. Let's go! 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 Go!
Everything. The vibes. I'm just recording everything. The vibes. I really do. I've got a video. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just recording everything. The vibes. I really do. I've got a video. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just recording everything.